If you want to whiten your teeth, let's talk about what you should do and what you should not do. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're talking about teeth whitening. This is not the way to whiten teeth. Don't be putting banana peels, strawberries, oranges, any type of fruit on your teeth thinking it will whiten them. There is no scientific evidence showing the efficacy of fruit whitening your teeth. If anything, you're giving yourself cavities if you try to do this because most fruits are on the more acidic side and acid levels in your mouth actually increase your risk of cavities. So stop all that. If you want to whiten your teeth, there is one good way to do this. Well, technically four good ways, but they all contain the same ingredient, peroxide, either hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. And as a dental hygienist, I can tell you there are lots of whitening gimmicks out there online. Not only the DIYs where people are saying to hold fruit on your teeth, but also if you're scrolling on social media, many of the products don't work. They are just using false advertising, marketing. So to find products that work, first of all, you gotta make sure they contain peroxide. I'll go over some product examples in just a bit, but it's important to know that whitening products such as whitening strips or trays or gels or even in-office whitening, they they have to be specially formulated with a specific concentration of hydrogen peroxide or carbon peroxide, allowing it to penetrate into the little pores on your tooth enamel to whiten them from the inside out. You can't just swish with hydrogen peroxide straight from the bottle thinking it will whiten your teeth. It's such a low percentage in the bottle. For effective and safe whitening, you need the proper amount of peroxide in formulated levels. And there are four safe and effective options. I'll go in order from the least expensive to the most expensive. Please know that they all all will achieve the same results, professional results. The price is just based on how long it will take to get the results. So the least expensive option will usually take the longest and the most expensive option will usually be the quickest. Starting with the least expensive option, number one, white strips. They really do work. They might take a couple weeks, maybe up to a month, depending on which ones you choose. I will link product suggestions in the description box. If you have time, try these. They're affordable and you just follow the directions in the box regarding how long they need to stay on your teeth each day and for how many weeks. I tell all my patients who are interested in whitening to start with the strips because they really do work. But if you have a very spitty mouth or you just have very sensitive gums, maybe you would prefer the next option, which is option two, semi-custom trays. These are a little better than the strips just because they form to your teeth and they usually stick a little better. So if you have a super spitty mouth, a saliva-filled mouth, you tend to salivate a lot, maybe consider these. They are a little more expensive expensive, but usually not more than $100. I've been loving these lately. So if you really want something that really works well, you won't spend too, too much money, consider these. I'll of course link my favorites in the description box as well. Next up, number three, custom trays. These ones fit perfectly to your teeth because they are custom fabricated at your dental office for you to bring home and use at home. Your dental office will also sell you the teeth whitening product to put into the trays. I'll link my video on how those trays are made at the dentist, how the whole process works, if you're interested. And if you're serious, like you really, teeth whitening is really gonna be something you plan to do routinely. Custom trays are worth considering. I used to use these all the time. Well, no more than four times a year is the recommended max for all whitening. I'll link my over whitening video as well. But yeah, I used to use these all the time because we made them for ourselves in dental hygiene school and they are great to have because once you have them fit to your mouth, all you have to do is get the new tubes of product to put on them every so often. However, lately, personally, I've been loving and using Using the semi-custom trays more often just because they're disposable and it saves the step. Like I'm running around lately and so after you use the semi-custom trays you just throw them away. Whereas with the custom trays after using them you have to clean them every time. Not a big deal. Just lately I'm trying to save a step. And again everyone's mouth is different. Maybe you really have sensitive gums and you're all about making sure they fit perfectly to your teeth. You can't go wrong with the custom trays but just be aware these are probably going to cost a couple hundred dollars but you'll have them for the rest of your life, which is awesome. Honestly, the best investment for sure, best bang for your buck. Lastly, number four, the most expensive, but the quickest is in-office professional whitening. It usually takes about an hour, depending on which whitening system your dental office uses. So if you're not feeling the whole putting on the strips or trays or gels every day at home for a couple weeks in a row, you just want a one 
one and done appointment at your dental office, this might be for you. Honestly, I love the convenience of it, but I usually advise against it for most of my patients because of how sensitive your teeth will be after. Think about it, you're getting weeks worth of whitening product placed on your teeth in one hour. It's a lot. And even if you don't have sensitive teeth to begin with, they will probably be a little bit sensitive or a lot bit sensitive. So unless you have, say, a wedding this weekend or something and you really want to get white teeth quick, I get it. But if you have the time, a couple weeks to a month, I personally prefer any of the other options because I do not like the feeling of intense sensitivity on my teeth. All whitening tends to make teeth a little bit sensitive, but this one is the most extreme. I will link more supplemental whitening videos of mine if you'd like to learn more details about each whitening option along with all the product suggestions in the description box below. And most importantly, if you remember anything from this video, my hottest tip of all hottest tips, before you whiten your teeth, get a professional cleaning at your dental office because you want the external stains to be removed before you whiten. If you whiten over your teeth that have stain, it's a waste of your time and money because usually it's stained plaque on your teeth, which does not allow the whitening product to penetrate as well as it should. So definitely get a cleaning first and then whiten. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. In all, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If banana slices actually whitened your teeth, wouldn't we all be doing it and promoting it? There are so many scams in the social media realm and your teeth, they aren't something to play with. If you lose enamel, it doesn't grow back. Cavities don't reverse. So please be sure to always talk with your dental provider before you whiten to determine the option you picked, whether it's strips, trays, gels, or in-office whitening, make sure it's the best option for your individual mouth before you do it. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And thank you again. Shout out to the Teeth Talk Patreon members and the YouTube members here supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.